Hello everyone, hi, it's Wednesday, and uh, that means it's time for video games on the internet. I thought I would play some, I don't know, we're here uh, hanging out and uh, talking about a couple of things on the podcast yesterday, figured I would start with uh, with some of those and, um, and uh, you know, well, we'll see, we'll see what we get into, I don't really know. Why don't we start with a little Raindrop Sprinters. This is a, a little game I mentioned on the show yesterday. It's on Steam. It's it's 10 bucks. That's probably it, it, you know, if we're if we're talking about what's the thing that I'm going to say, hey, maybe don't um this is kind of the the problem with it. I I it's a it's a little thin for the price, but let's uh let's get into it just the same. Where am I? There's me. Um, as I said on the podcast yesterday, it, like the audio, the little music and jingles and stuff has a just a very, a very Namco kind of post mappy sort of vibe to it. And uh, yeah, the the these these noises, yes, they 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 feel good. It's feel good audio. Um, that said, the game itself is uh, you know, you're moving this paw print across the screen <laughs> over and over again. There are multiple modes that I and I have not unlocked uh, the the other three modes yet. So, uh. So we'll get out here. Uh, you'll see that the, you know, raindrops will fall, but also these stars, stars act as multipliers for the score that you get when you reach the goal. And uh, the more time you reach, the more times you reach the goal, the the kind of base points level goes up. Uh, you also do have some kind of slow motion, which I assume, uh, you know, is handy. Also, the stars bounce, so you don't necessarily have to get them. Uh, your first time through. Um, and you know, uh, more, more raindrops fall over time. <laughs> it's, it's really, it's a really straightforward thing. Um, but I think it's just, it's, it's very effective at evoking that kind of feel of like that that era of Namco's arcade hardware, which is a weird. Oh boy. Ah! And that's it. And that's it. We lose. Yeah, if if the if the paw sprite was an actual kitty cat, I think that would go a long way. Earn seven hidden badges to get powerful skills. Reach the goal five times at max level for the ending. So, yeah, the, I mean, the implication is that you're, you know, you are unlocking more of these modes and that there is some kind of ending, I guess. But I think even if it was just a kitty cat's head instead of the paw, maybe that would, uh, maybe that would go a long way. I don't really know. Oh, 
also, I'll say, in case you're wondering, uh, I, I installed this on the Steam Deck and it did not seem to work. Uh, the, the controller, like, it was just the, there, I could not move anything, any of the menus or anything like that, just, uh, which, which I'm sure you could probably map the Steam Deck controls to some sort of keyboard controls and make it work if you wanted to set that up. Um, yay, 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 yay! Dang it. Yeah, a spinner might be cool for this. Like, analog spinning controls might be really fun. Uh, well, I, I mean, they probably wouldn't work. Because um, I don't think this is built for... Analog input. To begin with, but... Um, yeah. Maybe I'll try to integrate a little slow motion this time around. There is that meter at the bottom. We'll, uh... Allow me to, to, I guess, slow things down, but yeah, let's, yeah. And I guess you earn a little bit when you when you make it. Oh, jeez, I thought I'm, I'm kind of like looking out of the corner of my eye a little bit here to. Seems like that non-stop bonus is worth it if you can get it, but it's, you know, as more and more drops start to fall, you're probably not going to have a great uh, chance of getting it. I just, you know, they're just uh, presentationally, I think they, they nailed a, lo a lot of it. <laughs> and, uh, I wish there was just a little bit more. So now we've, we've unlocked customize mode. A ghost? Let's turn on ghosts. the ghost. Okay, so separate leaderboards per mode. I guess that makes sense. Start it with it, yeah. Like, I really have no... 
Like, once I start going, I can't. Like, when I hit left, it just doesn't do anything. <laughs> So there's bouncy, there's what I okay, let's just try charge. I'm curious to see what charge is. So I can't move left. Unless I'm burning meter. Wait. Oh, and you can't charge under the roof. So at any point I can hit to the left and I can refill my... My, uh... My slow motion meter. But but if I if I am using the slow motion I can move to the left. So I can do all sorts of stuff here and then I can charge it all back up. That's interesting. So on rush mode, more slow motion, more points. Get the stars to recover your gauge and beware of the time limit. Maverick, no more avoiding. Go for a direct hit. Consecutive hits can earn high points. Hits will lower your body temperature. A single game for 30 seconds. So yeah, the other modes just seem kind of like, I don't know, a little gimmicky, I suppose. <laughs> Charge is interesting. I don't know. That's, uh... Anyway, that that's kind of it. I don't know. You know, it's got it's got leaderboards, and uh, that's a pretty good little. Yeah, I don't. This... This thing goes a long way. Like, the, the music gets this thing a lot further. The audio, overall, gets this thing a lot further than it would go otherwise. Because, you know, in a lot of spots, not 100% not of it. <clears throat> uh, not 100% of the audio, but a lot of, a lot of that audio is so evocative of... Like I said, that kind of, like... 
that mappy era kind of, you know, was uh, it probably has, I'm sure the, 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 the platform probably has a name. Namco names some of their arcade platforms. Maybe they didn't start naming them by then. Maybe it was more like Ridge Racer era when they started having PlayStation hardware. They're like, this is System 765 or, or whatever, but... Evocative of that specific era of Namco arcade hardware. I don't really know what the badges do. It says get powerful skills, but I don't... Where did that wait? Where did, that was at my top local score. So where does that put me on the leaderboards now? I'm kind of curious. Fiftieth place. I'll take it. Yeah. just don't do anything um anyway that's brain drops printers it's 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 neat i don't know <clears throat> perhaps a little hard to justify uh is it on switch i yeah maybe it is i don't know let's uh let's type this into the internet and check yes of course it is um And it's been out for a while. It's, it's not like some brand new thing. I, I, f I forget how this was brought to my attention, but uh, it's on. Is it on sale on Switch? Let's see how much they want for it on the Switch right now. The sale ends July or uh, July, January eighth. It's six dollars and nine cents on Switch right now. Hmm. Eh. Yeah. Oh, and it came out in September. Okay, for some reason I thought it was like two years old or something. Maybe the PC version is, in fact. Nope. No, in fact, it just came out on Steam in December of, uh, of this last year, so. And there's a previous version of it on Itch from the developer. Just called Raindrop. Shuhei Miyazawa. Interesting. Anyway. Anyway, it's on itch. Um, and if you want to download the older version of it, and it's uh, that older version is free, so you could go get Raindrop without, I assume, without the sprinting. Um, for zero dollars on itch if you so if you so desire um all right let's look at the it's uh it's 2024 and some have said that it's a chaotic new era uh and so it, what better time to get into the previous chaotic new era Than to try attempt to capture this. Come on. Will it? Will it hook? Will it go? That's always the big question. 
yeah, that's uh, this is working great. <laughs> the cool thing about Mugen is uh, this is uh, is that it's a disaster. So it, it coming in upside down and small uh, is somehow not is somehow not surprising to me. Let's try to uh, let's try this method instead. Okay, I think my I think my controller is mapped properly. So yeah, it's uh, you're. <laughs> Okay, how many scorpions are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ultimate scorpion. Uh, nine. Nine scorpions. Um, and I know what you're thinking. This this character select screen is ridiculous. What am I supposed to do? There's so many characters. Well, I've got news for you. The character select screen goes below the bottom of the screen. There's like several more rows of fucking characters down here on top of that. Uh, it, it's, it's a real fucking mess. Ah, yes, Pedro. So I barely even know what I'm looking at here. Ultimately, you know, I'm just like, I, I kind of want to find just like a, a regular, okay, let's see here. MK1 Scorpion. Let's try that. Choose you. Does it have online multiplayer? Sadly, no. Round one, fight. Get over here! Oh, well, that's not, that's not something MK1 Scorpion has. Scorpion wins. Round two, fight. Okay. <clears throat> Great. Another here's another Mortal Kombat favorite, Puppet Master. Okay. Feels like the late '90s internet. Yeah, a lot of this thing has has a real. Round two, fight. Like sometimes the characters have the, the some of these custom characters have the feel of like uh, the fucking the guy from the the character from Hypnospace Outlaw that made that game. <laughs> if, if that makes any sense. Like this is the this is the fighting game that that guy might have made, and then Chucky popped out and ran away. Why? I don't I don't know. And then it crashed. No. Okay. Yes, it's a, it's a it's an interactive Angel Fire website. Definitely. Round one fight. <laughs> He's got the stupid leg takedown. I love the leg takedown. It's such a... It's always such a weird move. Scorpion wins. Flawless victory. Round two. 
I have the difficulty set down as well. Uh, well, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll do some channel point bets uh, on AI fights. I like that the fatality works. It's cool. Ah, Liu Kang. That's finally a character I understand. Round and it's just Liu Kang. Look at that. Scorpion wins. Round two. Fight. <laughs> The forward teleport punch is just such a rude thing, just conceptually. I think you have to have totally normal versions of characters in these things because people need something that they can start with and go, okay, all right, I get it. And then, and then maybe go from there. Like, thankfully, and, and not every character's moves list works because... You know, it's a, it's a weird fan project. It's a... Ah, Sheborg. Uh, not every character's move list works, but it does at least have... Conceptually has a, a move list. But it doesn't list finishers, you know? We saw some DOS front end wrapper with 7,000 games in it. I mean, you know, the, the Exo DOS project is out there with a bunch of. So here, I mean, if you want to play DOS games, if you want, if you want to get into DOS games, um, which I, maybe, maybe I'll show you some DOS games in a little bit here and show you how I, how I like to do it. Generally speaking, it doesn't work with everything, but RetroArch has a core called DOS Box Pure. Ultimate Liu Kang. Okay. The Shaolin chose me. <laughs> Great. Um, DOS Box Pure makes it really easy to interact with Exo DOS. Uh, packaged archives. Scorpion wins. Round two, fight. Okay. Scorpion wins. Fatality. Um, there's also a DOS box fork called DOS box staging that is uh pretty good. You you do have to use it like real DOS in a lot of cases and, and run the things manually. It's not quite as like DOS box pure is very slick. When we're done fucking around with this mess, which I love. I, I, that's don't take, that's not a disrespectful. Like, I, I I love this Fight. this fucking weird thing. Look at this. Look at this disaster. <laughs> sure, backwards ground ice. Why not? Scorpion wins. Round two. Fight. Like, it feels, you know, ostensibly, like, they've done a pretty good job for an engine that didn't necessarily uh, start out being able to really feel like Mortal Kombat because it was much more of a Street Fighter-y style kind of thing. The lengths to which they have bent this insane engine to feel like Mortal Kombat, like, they've actually done a pretty good job of integrating, like, Mortal Kombat 3 
the feel of Mortal Kombat 3. I wonder, you know, like these, these, the people making these things, I feel like uh, would maybe be some of the, the best, the, the people that would benefit the most. And again, this is ethically shaky, but hey, the whole, the whole project is ethically shaky uh, of AI training a Shao Kahn voice to be able to say the names of Pedro and all these other fucking ridiculous characters. Is, is, so there, is there a is there a chaotic new era 1.4? As far as I can tell, this is 135. I'm not sure. I looked. Tr oh, what, oh God! I tried to find out uh, what was the most recent version, and uh, was not able to <laughs> figure that out. <laughs> you liked that man's video and followed his channel to get 1.4. S send me the send me the link. Fight. If you don't mind. Yep, there's Kintaro's skeleton. Oh, it does have four arms, right? I mean, right? <laughs> what? I mean, I probably can't spear him, right? I probably... If they're treating this as a boss fight, then I should not be able to actually spear him, but I would have said that about Kentaro as well. Yeah, he just seems to eat it. Oh, God. They made Motaro laugh. That's very silly. Well, we're stuck at Motaro, so I should probably stick with a character that I uh, that I know. I guess I don't. I wonder if I can freeze him with Sub Zero MK One. Let's try it. Oh shit, that's messed up. Alright, this sucks. <laughs> and, you know, like proper Mortal Kombat, the boss fights are, are not great. Oh. Yeah, why not? Fatality. Why not? Let's, uh... Oh, let's look around at other stuff here. Uh, yeah, Kung Fury. Uh, Beatrix the Bride. Yes, of course. Ragnar... Ricardo, okay, Leonardo, okay, yeah, okay, down here we've got Hulk, Venom, Thanos, Columbus, oh, bl a Blade, Chaotic Ryu, what? Fire Lord, Forest Lord, Chavo, uh, the guy from Call of Duty, 
Bruce Lee. Oh man, it's got Jack. I, it's, I, I'm Jackie Chan, and this is my game. Oh, I didn't realize we had all these guys down here. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I've always wanted to play as Ronald McDonald. I've just, I used to, I've seen him in action in Salty Bet for all these years. Cyber Hydro. Oh, no moves list listed. Game crashed. That's weird that it immediately just decided to capture my Steam window after that. Will it automatically go back? Okay. Good, good. Good, good. Well, extremely well made. A labor of love. I don't know if he has any moves other than spawn police car. That's the fight you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Base boosted fucking mission complete music is what actually <laughs> makes this really fucking funny to me. Fight. Oh man, it's it's so bad. Okay, there's no down back moves. Is there a back forward that isn't Very good. <laughs> the the cop car does a lot of it seems like it does a ton fucking ton of damage. Is this stuck? I've had this happen a couple of times too. Weird that this project would not be like extremely fucking stable. I don't I don't get it. I don't know why that, why that would happen. 
All right, let's uh, relaunch it here. Let's try this a couple more times here. Is this a game that's intended to be balanced in any way? You know, I, I don't, not, I'm sure on some level there's a, a, a desire to have a balance in there, but I, I don't. to do the dirty service. I'm hiring a new warrior to do the dirty service. Human Cyrax, okay. Is Big Daddy cool in this? No, because he wasn't in the he wasn't in the game. He was not in the WrestleMania arcade game. Um so like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels, they're in here. Undertaker is in here. Doink, yes, Doink is in here. Well, like I, like, do these characters even have finishers? Is the I, I think like the, what someone needs to make is like a character inspector for Mugen characters that lets you inspect like, okay, these inputs do this, that let you kind of generate a move list or something, you know? What's the currency for? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it shows you earning a currency at the end of a fight. And, like, what? Why? What is that for? Who knows? Oh, God. Back, back, forward, high kick. That doesn't work. <laughs> uh, maybe it's up close, like the the razor driver. Fight. Yeah. It actually kind of looks like a razor's edge there. of a running that's a cool stage like if for like a fan created you know like that's that's kind of the other thing is so much work has gone into these weird Mugen Mortal Kombat projects over the years that like people have made some like pretty decent stuff and also some real garbage i mean don't space punch okay yeah that's oh we got an upward an upper so with high punch he goes up and with low punch he goes he stays on the ground 
The Mugen Fighter Factory allows you to edit the nitty gritty of the characters, find out what moves do motion edit animations. Okay, uh, maybe I'll round two. Fight. No, I'm not gonna. I mean, that, that's it's easy to sit here and say, oh, maybe I'll get that and really spend uh, s uh, several hours inspecting Mugen characters. Like, I, yeah, maybe I should. I would love to do that. But <laughs> a lot of stuff. Oh man. Yeah, I wish, you know, that that's kind of the thing is like, do these guys have finishers, I think is the, is the question. Round one, fight. <laughs> the fuck am I looking at, man? <laughs> Look at that turtle! Look at that weird head back there! What the fuck is going on? Why was there a horse noise? Wins. <laughs> what the fight? <sighs> What else we got on the moves list here? Real machismo. Okay, this that's the slasher up. Okay, so we can just do that move as a... Why not? I don't know. The properties of it don't seem... I like that they ch chopped together syllables to get the announcer to say, Raze or Ramon wins. Also very good. Maybe that's better. I was, I was going to say, you could train an AI to say Raze or Ramon in the Shao Kahn voice. In, in this day and age, you could do, you could work wonders for a thing like this. Round one, fight. Shin Shang Tsung, of course. Those books are flying. Round two, fight! Wait, was that Kane? Did he turn into Kane there for a sec? I think Kane is also in this. Which is weird, I don't remember Kane being in the video game. So I don't know if they just like, someone decided to reskin. Yeah, okay, he turned into Doink there for a sec, so clearly... Why not? Yeah, but if there's a 1.4 version of this, I should grab it. Uh, I won't grab it right now because it's, you know, probably a 10 gig download or something while I'm streaming or whatever. We'll just stick with, with this version. But I guess I that's someone needs to make a website that keeps track of all the Mugen news. I know there are some message boards, but I and, and maybe that's maybe that's enough. You just need to find the right one, but <laughs> But a true resource to get this sort of information from would be uh, would be cool. Yeah, I know there's like a zillion message boards and you know. Round one fight. <laughs> this guy just says permanent aggressor. those particles and fire like no complaints round one fight <laughs> Oh. Wins. 
I also like how large Razor Ramon is compared to all the Mortal Kombat characters. Round That's just true. Fight. That's just factual. Doesn't always seem that way because, you know, he spent a lot of his career standing next to very tall gentlemen. Like Scott Hall, the big motherfucker. Yeah, he was he was something like six five. I want to say that's that sounds right. Prepare uh, to die. Come for Kintaro. Round one. Fight. If you told me Razor Ramon was about as big as Kintaro, I'd believe you. I would like to see someone take this sprite and try to edit it to put like a... Basically, I want like a Scott Hall version of this. Of <laughs> like, okay, put, keep Razor Ramon in the game, but put an NWO t-shirt on him and, uh, and, and turn him into Scott Hall. My chair is rolling away. Why? Fight. fucking exploded. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Okay. Round three, fight. Dude, what the... Alright, who else is in this thing? Idrisol. <laughs> hey, yes, Basilisk. Yeah, of course, all my favorite. Oh, Mike Tyson. Great. Kane, The Undertaker, Akuma. Oh, these are all the Street Fighter the movie characters here. Though, I, that doesn't look much like... Uh, Oh hey, we got all we got all the Killer Instinct guys down here too. Look at that, Jago. Uh, oh yeah, Nemesis. Yeah, Pyramid Head. Choose 
is your destiny. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Round one, fight! No, no move list. Oh well. I think in some cases, some of these characters are, you know, originally made for the more Street Fighter-y style uh, Mugen, you know, the, the kind of default, no more normal, more normal, uh, and then are, have been converted into Mortal Kombat characters in ways that maybe they're not finished yet <laughs> in a lot of ways, because sort of the, some of the weird things about some of these fan projects is... You never know what you're even looking at. It's gonna be chameleon. Yeah. Fight. He's not giving me a lot of room to see if I have any other specials. There we go. What just happened? Friendship. If a friend did that to me, I'd, uh, well, I don't know what I'd do. Cyber smoke. Cyber ermac. Sector shinobi. Tremor. Other, another tremor. Another, another tremor. Human Hydro. Dark Raiden. Raiden. Jinsei Raiden. Chaotic Sindel. Red Robin. What? I get unlimited fries? Like, what? what's the... You do, like, a Red Ramen versus Ronald McDonald kind of thing, or...? Kick. Forward back high kick. Oh, look at that. That's... Uh, looks like you can only do that teleport kick from the left side. It's broken from the right side. What else we got? Teledashes. Okay. Air throw and hell hand. Hell hand is one of that guy. No. Hit him with the hell hand. 
Yeah, the number of characters that have been created over the years that are just like, I made a Mortal Kombat ninja, only he's a different color, and I named him after my online forum name. I'm sure, I'm sure there's got to be more than a few of those. It's a pretty good Jarek, all things considered. I don't know. Was it <laughs> round one? Chaotic Kira. Okay. <laughs> Very chaotic. Look out. Flawless victory. Round two. Fight. Okay. Got a got a Kano ball. What else you got? Just the Kano ball? Oh, apparently I can turn invisible. <laughs> Smashing the buttons, figure that out. <clears throat> All right, let's try like one more. Right, let's, let's, let's go try Mike Tyson. Let's go try Mike Tyson. Let's go play as Mike Tyson. Oh, wait. Let's see this. We should see this. Round one, fight. This mob's going to get foxed. That thing gonna hatch? What are we doing? Wins. Round two, fight. Uh. Okay. They're a good way to quit. Escape doesn't do it. I thought escape quit. That's weird. All right. Well, look, we're going to reload this thing one more time. Oh, I guess this is Heroic Version 1.4. If we look at that title screen there. So perhaps this is the... Perhaps this is the latest version, or... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're looking at. You just Google it. That's all I did. You know, you just go, go look around, click on some links, hope for the best. You know, get your, get your virus software up to date and... And go clicking around the internet and see what you can find. Smokey. Ah, yes. Boob Cybot. Great. Great. She-Wolf. Is that like, is it gonna be like a Night Wolf kind of? Oh, shit.
Oh, Round ultimate scorpion. Fight. Does he have a move list? Great. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Great. Round two, fight. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Good. Good. Round one, fight. <laughs> What else did he have? Roll punch and then okay, speed bag. Oh, that's just a I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. <laughs> Round two. Jesus. Fight. A little hop punch as part of that combo is real silly looking. This whole thing's real. Hey, you know what? This whole thing's real silly looking. I'm the most brutal and vicious. All right, that's probably enough, Mike Tyson. That time the escape key worked. <clears throat> I, you know, this is just so okay. Let's try. Jackie Chan. Choose your destiny. Don't make me laugh. Mocap. Giving it to me. Mocap wins. Fight. I can't move. Okay. I can't, I can't, I, I cannot touch mocap. Too brutal. I like how the fatality version of the music is so much louder and not leveled in any way, shape, or form. It's so good. Uh, what else? All right, Freddie Mercury. Choose your destiny. Don't make me laugh. Um, Freddie, Freddie Mercury. Round one, fight. <laughs> This is a lot. It's a lot to take in, you know? Round two, fight. 
It does so much damage. It does so much damage. <laughs> oh my god. Round one, fight! <laughs> <laughs> I could, I, at some point, you can't even tell what the fuck is happening anymore. Like the the frames, the frames of the character just don't make any sense anymore. You're like, I. I All right, let's quit out <laughs> and just pick somebody else cuz it's just it's too much. Let's try this Chavo. Choose your destiny. Don't make me laugh. Round 1. Fight. <laughs> Yep. Round two, fight. Yep. <laughs> what you know Round one, what, why is everything pulled out further in the, on this stage Oh, that's so good. Fight. All right, let's let's just pick different characters. You know what? Let's uh turn the difficulty up to eight. To make sure that's stuck. Yeah. And go into watch mode. And we'll pit Lionel Messi against how about Jago? How do yeah, we should set, I feel like we should set up we should let people vote on this. I don't know how to Uh, does poll do it? Okay.
Opens a setup menu to create a poll. Well, it doesn't do that in the OBS window, so I'm gonna have to load up actual Twitch here. Yeah, Brent, if just, uh, just Messi versus Jago. Slash predictions, is that actually a better, uh... Yeah, that also is not opening a window for me. There, okay. Yeah, maybe this is not letting people vote with their channel points. I don't know if that's a... Uh... All right, we'll let the votes close here. Predictions is what lets you gamble. Okay. There it goes. Okay, so I guess ignore the poll and go for the... The prediction. Or do both, who cares? <laughs> A lot of money on, uh... On Messi going in here. The vote can do dollar extra votes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's get those dollars coming in. Let's make it real money. Let's make it interesting. Okay. Here we go. If it crashes out, we will rerun the fight until there is a winner, I suppose. Round one, fight. That's a big soccer ball. I don't know about Jago here, but, but at the same time... There we go. Fight. All right, this is I expected a, a few more projectile attacks out of uh, a soccer guy. Good God, man. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. How about, uh, let's see who else might be completely fucking broken. And then we'll open a prediction. Jinko, Jesus. I bet there's a really fucked up Ermac. Let's do chaotic Ermac against Boob Cybot. Um, I can try and. Open the prediction here. Unless Brin's, unless you've got it. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of money going in on Boob Cybot so far. Not a lot of chaotic Ermac believers. 
But Ermac always seemed like the most broken character. Like, if you were going to mod Ermac to make him more broken, my guess is that you would do some really bad shit. But also the, 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 the skill of the person creating the character comes into view, right? And, you know, did they try to make something that was balanced or did they try to make an absolute disaster? <clears throat> All right. Ermac pulling ahead here in the, in the... Okay, here we go. Covers to avoid projectiles. Running out of breakers. It's like a pure rules match out here. Three rope breaks. Like this hover thing is effective, but not getting not getting damage done. Whereas Boob Cybot is at least like, oh, you know, it's actually not that far. Like it's, this is. Eh. All right. Ermac wins. Oh, he heals when he hovers? Gee, I didn't even notice. Jeez. Round two. That's even better. This one feels like it could go either way, honestly. Uh, like, they don't, they don't seem so unmatched. They both seem sort of broken, but Boob Saibot doesn't seem as broken in a flashy way, I guess I would say. Whereas Ermac here is going to blow this lady up. Congratulations to all the chaotic Ermac bettors uh, for your... For your win. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Uh, Shaggy. We'll, we'll go down to the depths here of the... Pyramid Scorpion? Chaotic Ryu. No. Not an, I'm not going to pick a ninja, because it feels like the ninjas are too easily... Too reliably made into something completely crazy and broken, right? Shaggy versus Lara Croft. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, someone should, uh, yeah, I mean, we, you know, we could, uh, maybe we could do some screen cap uh, sprite rips from Backyard Wrestling to get a Shaggy 2 Dope uh, character together. Or just rip the model and, you know, take screenshots of it from the side. You could pose it, you could do, you know, eh, you know, you know what, you could do that. Shaggy pulling ahead so far. I feel like, yeah, not enough people are making, uh, are taking pictures of themselves and putting themselves into this game. I feel like I don't see enough of that. You know, like, green screen. Green screens are, avail are widely available. Shaggy is, uh, dominating the voting here so far. Oh, it's a, it's a polygon. What the fuck is happening? Oh, God. 
Shaggy is no joke. That looked like a flawless. I was that was if not a I don't know where he took damage there, but Smart using the breaker. <laughs> what the fuck is this mummy even doing? All right, Shaggy wins. wins. And then threw a bone at Lara Croft and she exploded. <laughs> Not technically a fatality. I don't. All right, all right. Oh man, that mummy is brutal. Yeah, I don't know. That's uh. All right, one more. All right, one more. Let's do uh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know these guys. Let's do uh, Chaotic Striker. Versus. Chaotic Striker. It's, like, it's, a, it's a really dumb. It's conceptual. <laughs> against Rambo. How about against Rambo? Two gun guys. Sometimes people go off when they when they modify existing characters, right? I mean, because the whole point is like, oh, let's make an unbalanced version of this character using these frames of animation. And they make something totally busted. But then Rambo is Rambo. I don't you know, like I don't know what to expect. Rambo is a mystery to me. He drifted into town and he just he just wanted to be left alone. The, the cops had other ideas. And uh and, and as such this match is effectively a reenactment of First Blood. Where's the voting at here? Uh, all right, Rambo ahead a little bit here in the channel points voting here ahead of the fight. Let's uh, let's go. Really good shadow on uh, on Rambo. Oh God! Ram Rambo appears to have Cyrax fucking bombs and. Uh, He's, is he healing himself with it? He's... Oh, Rambo. magical really ultimately it's uh gotcha. strike it in, pal. that's how failure tastes eh, striker can hold his own though he's not he ain't he ain't you know this he won that round pretty handily there so The fuck that Whoa. <laughs> Incoming. Strike. You got, moron? Fatality. I like that they added lines of dialogue. That that's chaos for Striker is to give him lines of dialogue. Alright. Alright, Rambo betters, back to the fucking mines, I guess. Uh, 
one one more. I'm sorry. I just Street Fighter the movie Ryu. Against chaotic Ryu. I don't know if there's any I don't know. Depends on if they'd made a faithful Street Fighter the movie Ryu, right? I mean, you know, if if because you could make a weird, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. Like, is this just a faithful Ryu versus someone's insane ninja edit? Like, it could be, I don't know. But what if they snapped and made a ridiculous, over-the-top Street Fighter the movie Ryu that is completely broken? It's hard to say. I know where I would put my money. I'm not going to say to, I don't want to sway people here. I know where I would bet. All right. The timer is almost done. So we will start. Here we go. Chaotic Ryu pulled ahead. That is where I would have put my money is on Chaotic Ryu, because I feel like if you're naming a character Chaotic Ryu, you're making something fucking broken. Mm. Eh, regular Ryu, though. Fucking getting it done. All right. Turns out regular Ryu, somewhat chaotic. Round two, fight. Wow, whoa. He's got the glow. All right, you fucked him up. Chaotic Ryu ain't shit. Okay, I would have, I would have lost. I would have lost. I would have lost a ton there. Ryu seems to be healing up somehow as well, which is perhaps unfair. Or, well, I, now I now I'm fucking juiced. Now I gotta do another. One. I, I want to see more. All right, I'm sorry. We, all right. Um, propagator. Sure, why not? These nonsense characters down here against ice. Yeah, A ice A one C E is that an I or an A? We're, this is what we're doing. This is the fight. Oh yeah, we'll, so yeah, we'll do a clown battle after this. Doink versus Ronald. Sure, why not? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll start the, uh, I'll start the, uh, um, sorry, propagator versus Oh, is it not showing the, uh, the... It doesn't make the... Okay, there. Okay, when you actually go to vote, it does. I was like, because I just wrote who in the thing and not who versus who. Okay. 
Here we go. Round what the fight? Alright. Well, okay, that was kind of cool. This whole thing is ridiculous. Both of these characters are uh, some of my favorite type of Mortal Kombat fan edit broken. Oh. Yeah, you froze him up there and you don't know what to do now. Round <laughs> three. Okay, let's see. Final round. Propagator seems interesting, you know, like the it's, those moves are weird. And Propagator's gonna take it pretty handily. Oh! Okay. You got crushed by a rock. Fatality. Okay. Propagator has won. Congratulations. Are you sure that that's the correct outcome? Yeah. All right. Doink. And Ronald. There we go. You know, if we think, if we go by what we saw with, uh, with Razor Ramon, um, Razor Ramon had a lot of interesting moves, um, and one would assume that Doink might as well. Ronald, we know is, uh, this is a different Ronald than the one you may have seen in Salty Bet, as far as I can tell, but, uh, still seems fucking broken. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Let me. Sorry, I need to dismiss a message from the previous one. Is it? Is, sorry, is this done? It, it's disappeared from my window. Hang on. Okay. All right. Submissions are closed. Oh, did Bryn did. Okay. Sorry. I think we were both creating predictions there. Um. Ronald, heavy favorite here. Let's go. Clown battle. One fight. That hamburger. They can't do that. Oh. Uh oh. Timer scam. Ronald will win this one. I believe Ronald has the life lead here, so if this sticks like this... Yeah! Come on, Doink, just stick a foot in there! All right, Ronald takes round one. Fight. Tony has to really step it up. 
All right, these projectiles. Oh, man. Yeah, I, you know, I think even if Ronald hadn't gotten stuck there... Oh, my God. Wait. Remember this. Wait, there's a lady the whole time? The fuck just happened? Congratulations to Ronald McDonald. I think if, even if Ronald hadn't gotten stuck in round one, I think... Uh, what we saw in the later round was was pretty definitive there. Dark and final dark. What? All right, let's try final dark versus. Uh... Gohan. Yeah, go on. Now, this is an interesting one. You know, Dragon Ball Z characters obviously can be fucking a little unpredictable, I think, as we know. Um, but if Final Dark is a boss character, that might be... That might be a bit much. For Gohan to take, we don't, uh, you know. This, I, I like uh, this is. I think one of the things about Salty Bet that over time, once they started trying to balance it and make it like, like oh the like th when they put the characters into tiers and they're just like okay these these super broken characters are are at the highest tier and they get lower health as a result to try to like make it work, like that makes the betting end of it work a lot better. But I I like it and I like it broken. I liked it broken. That was my that was my favorite era of salty beds when it was just like, oh, these characters are just fucked. All right. Here we go. That doesn't seem to be doing any damage to Gohan. There we go. Oh. The Dragon Ball Z character took it. From behind. And a little ska for you. Ska esque. Ska adjacent, perhaps. Um. Oh. Oh. I did not see. I. I. I, I I was watching that round, and I did not realize that Gohan was getting blown up that bad, I guess. Alright. Oh. Yeah, stopping to pose. Not a good idea. Stop and dance. Lose the fight. What? Uh, what? Okay. I thought maybe we had a lock up there. Final Dark ahead a little bit on life here. Okay. Gohan getting eaten up. Never bet on Dragon Ball Z. You can head around. I'm, I'm around the internet. I don't know. I saw someone asking. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash Jeff Gerstman and uh, support the madness. You know, the, the Jeff Gerstman show is a podcast. It's on YouTube. You can look for it where podcasts are, too. And uh, you go to guard.bike on the internet. You type that into a web browser. It'll it'll get you on the YouTube channel if you if you want to if you want that. Uh, congratulations to Final Dark. Uh, hmm. 
Does this have 10 count? Unfortunately, no. Um, I know, I'm sure that the Toshinden characters have been ripped out. It does have this, uh, it does have, I mean, this is as close as we'll get to 10 count. Let's do Michael Jackson versus, uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, Homer Simpson. Yeah, Michael Jackson, I don't know if you're familiar with him. He's kind of a bootleg 10 count. We'll let the betting go and we'll... Uh... Is that not classic Mugen Homer? So the, the thing you have to remember here is that we're running this in a Mortal Kombat variant of the Mugen, you know, engine. And so I think even some of the characters you may have seen in Salty Bet, you know, have, have maybe been adapted or they, they're trying to adapt them to use a run button and a block button and high kick and have an uppercut and, and, and all of that other stuff, right? So... And, and also, some of that work might not be complete. These are probably unfinished versions. Of the, like if you ask the people that were making these edits, they might go like, oh, yeah, we're not done. This is Mortal Kombat Chaotic New Era 1.4. Um, For whatever that's worth, I, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. I have not uh, spent a ton of time with this either, so I, I don't know that I have a good read on these characters. But uh, betting appears to be closed. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm so happy that it's like... Oh, God. He took damage from that. What? This fight has started? What the fuck's... It? I like that it's like Genesis Moonwalker Michael Jackson, which is the best. It's, it's the only acceptable Michael Jackson. What? I, Michael Jackson has a lot of light. Okay, I mean he's kind of. You just keep kicking those sparks at Homer. He's, he can't. He doesn't have an answer for him. But I don't know this. Oh yeah. Okay. Michael's still coming. He can't be killed by conventional means. Homer appears to have won the fight. I don't know what... <laughs> round three. <laughs> we'll call it round three. Oh man, infinite corner combo. That's a, I'm gonna have to re, gonna have to rebalance this. I don't know. This... Michael Jackson is a zombie. I mean, that would that would make sense. All right, we're calling that the end of Michael Jackson. We're gonna we're gonna say we're this. We're only gonna go this far. We're not gonna. We're not going to allow Michael Jackson to actually be invincible and call that a win. That's a Homer win. That's a Homer win right there. <laughs> what the f All right. Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, someone suggested. We'll do regular Jackie, not uh, drunken Jackie. When I'm playing single player, I'll have to check out Michael Jackson because apparently he's fucking invincible.
All right, so far. Oh, wait, no. I'm still looking at the previous matches betting here. There we go. Uh, Jackie Chan taking the early lead in the betting here. Thanks to Bryn for setting up these polls. Uh, Bruce Lee, 89% of the... 76% of the money is headed to Bruce Lee right now. We're about halfway through the betting phase. I mean, Jackie Chan, that's an actual fighting game character from an actual fighting game. Bruce Lee, who knows what, who knows? Oh, Brent, don't worry about it. If, if I, I can, I can, uh, I can take over if you, if you, uh, if you want. Um, Bruce Lee was in that UFC game. Yeah, is this a sprite rip? Is this is a sprite? Is this a rip from the Bruce Lee game? Bruce Lee takes 62% of the votes. Let's see what we're in for. Is this going to be a Liu Kang edit? Is the question, right? No, oh, okay. All right. What is this from? Oh. Oh, there. I guess there was the Dragon, the Bruce Lee game. You know, there, there, I guess there have been other kind of 2D representations of Bruce Lee. Maybe, maybe this came from there. Why did that only come out of the right speaker? <laughs> Why did Bruce Lee wins only come out of the right side? I don't know. Oh man, that ate him up! Holy shit. Bruce Lee, which is, I, I feel like that's what would happen. <laughs> I like some Jackie Chan films. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Nightwolf Doom. All right. Let's try a really fucked up scorpion. Uh, how about... Hell scorpion... Versus Kane, another, another, another creature, another someone from hell. I'll, uh, I'll set this one up. Uh, hell scorpion... All right. Let's see. I I, I think a, a a scorpion edit is liable to be super broken, but a lot of these WWE characters have been um really fucked up too. Uh, Chummy8 asks, do you know if it's possible to play Street Fighter 2 Rainbow Edition these days? Yeah, it's supported by MAME, uh, as well as a lot of other arcade emulators. Yeah, Rainbow Edition and Accelerator Part 2, a lot of the Street Fighter 2 ROM hacks are um, pretty widely available in, in an arcade emulator. If you want a bunch of Street Fighter ROM hacks for like a variety of Street Fighter games... You could get HB Mame, which is the homebrew focused Mame, and that has a bunch of crazy ROM hacks for a lot of stuff. So, um, how does one acquire this? It's called Mortal Kombat Chaotic New Era, and you can Google it. 
All the links are sketchy. Uh, run a virus scanner on it is my advice. I found it on Media Fire somewhere. I don't know. Um, Kane just barely ahead of Hell Scorpion in the voting here with 51% of the vote. Or 51% of the points, rather. This is not Kane from... I mean, Kane was not in that WrestleMania arcade game, so they don't have a 2D Kane model to use. I don't know where this Kane even comes from. It's very tiny. It's a very tiny Kane. All right, Hell Scorpion. A slight, slight, slight underdog. Round two. Fight. Oh, that's quite a combo. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, sure. You just have a stick. Oh, that's your spear. Your oh, and then a little backflip just for kicks. All right, Hell Scorpion. Congratulations to Hell Scorpion. Uh, someone uh, requested. Uh, was, was it next to? Someone said Luis Miguel. I don't know who this is, but sure. Let's put Luis Miguel up against. How about Jax from Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance? This doesn't look like Jax from Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance to me. Let's uh, let's start it up here. Nice the Jax. There we go. Oh, is there? Okay, thank you. For, okay. Luis Miguel is a Latino singer, you say? Okay. Sixty percent of the vote so far going to Luis Miguel. Seventy percent creeping up, creeping up. One hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty thousand. Do dollars. I forgot that I I forgot that you A, I forgot you can name channel points. B, I forgot that I named them do dollars. Very stupid. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's a great uh versus screen. Nailed it. Nailed it. That's uh that's uh Ken from Street Fighter the movie. You may know him as Miklo. Help. Help. You may know him as Miklo from Blood In, Blood Out. Yeah. Good. Great. Yeah. Is this a Spanish cover of I Only Want to Be With You? Okay, it is. All right, great. Congratulations to Mr. Miguel for... I like that they just took a Ken from Street Fighter the movie and just made it play music and gave it a bunch of fucking bullshit moves. <laughs> Crap. 
Chrome. Contagion. All right, let's let's go down into the dregs down here and see what we got. Even more, even more broken characters down here. Let's go with. Uh... Oh man, I don't know. El Grand, El Gran Diego. Okay. <laughs> Against Columbus. Sure. Everyone's favorite, uh, Columbus. Those of you who don't habla espanol, El Gran Diego is Spanish for the Gran Diego. All right, we're about halfway through the betting here. El Gran Diego handily dominating in the channel points betting so far. El Gran Diego is an edit of a ninja, so I, I feel like that's, uh... Oh, well, I don't know. That cuts both ways, because uh, some of them are super bad, right? I mean, you know, you kind of... You never know. You never know. Okay, here we go. Columbus. All right. Columbus seems uh, like a delicious type of broken. I mean, you know, but. All right. Gran Diego getting it in as well. Just needed an opening. But I don't think, I don't think, yeah. Yep, Cobra. There it is. Yeah, this is the, is the Violent Ken samples from SVC. Sure. Uh, Gran Diego seems like a very, like, a potentially overpowered character as well, but just... Good God, man. Absolutely brutal. Congratulations to Columbus or uh, Cobra or Violent Ken or. L Logan. All right, let's do Logan. Logan versus Steve. Logan versus Steve. You know, from Minecraft from Minecraft. I don't know. I, I I don't know what to expect out of this one because what the fuck is a Logan character like? What is that ripped from? Is it going to be a, like a an art edited Wolverine sprite from MVC that has then been hastily modified into a Mortal Kombat character? Or Steve looks like he's ready to kill. If you ask me. Steve seems like he's got a potential to be really broken. I don't, but, but yeah. I don't know. I, I've been, I've, my, the picks I have been picking in my head here have been almost always wrong. So. All right. Who's, uh, who's in the lead betting wise here? Let's go.
Oh, this fight has started. Okay. Uh, Logan appears to be a bit of a button masher. Oh, oh no. Let's say there's a vicious corner combo there. Steve just eating these hits. Steve does not have a good answer for any of this. Rookie. Holy shit. Steve's got nothing, man. Yeah, this is, uh... Steve just doesn't have a good way to get in. Or at least the AI programming, I mean, you know, I don't know. Like, I mean, stand back and shoot some projectiles, I guess, but, like... And then everything went dark. <laughs> okay. Congratulations to Logan. Oh boy. All right. Bender. What we else we got here? Storm Lord and Fire Lord. Bender versus Ricardo Milos. I don't know who that is. Meme guy? Okay. I don't know. I don't... Meme guy. Okay. Dancing meme guy. Okay. Well, I do like dancing. So far, Bender is taking a lot of the early money. Uh, yeah, yeah, Bender's uh, Bender's definitely in the the money lead here for sure. We'll let this uh, run out of another five or six seconds here. Ah, Ricardo Milos catching up here in the money. A little bit. 281 to 221. Oh. Maybe about 300k to about 230k, unless some late money comes in here. 270 to. Okay, well, actually, yeah. yeah. Round one fight. Okay. Is the, the legs on this character are very uncomfortable to look at. Yeah, I don't know what to make it. Like, I feel, I, I feel like I'm not getting any closer to learning what this character is, uh, or what this guy is known for. I suppose it's not necessarily coming through. 
Oh god, what happened there? Alright. Known for his weird painted legs. Is he? I don't know. Bender's got stuff, but like not not enough. Not enough stuff. Congratulations to Ricardo for winning that one. All right, maybe we do one more of these. What, Con okay, yeah, Connor Kenway, sure. Why, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Connor Kenway, you know, from Assassin's Creed. Uh, versus uh, Shawn Michaels. Where is Shawn Michaels? Down here somewhere. Connor Kenway. See, this, this, he's the Assassin's Creed 3 guy, right? Okay, voting is up. Thank you, Bryn, for handling the voting. Once again. Uh, Shawn Michaels will probably be another uh, WrestleMania the Arcade game edit. Um, And I don't know what Connor Kenway would be from. I don't, I don't know where they would rip a, a sprite. I mean, I assume that it's going to be screenshots of a model. Uh, of a 3D model. Um, Shawn Michaels, a massive favorite in this fight so far. As far as the voting, as far as the fans are concerned, Shawn Michaels is a huge favorite here to win. Let's get in there. Oh, apparently this fight has started. These characters that are uh, below the bottom of the uh, screen. Shawn Michaels starting before the bell. Very unprofessional. Um, A lot of these characters are, uh, uh, I assume, unfinished. Connor Kenway, though, getting it done. Yeah, Hotaru. Finally, something that Connor Kenway is good for. All right, Shawn Michaels has floated off the screen. We're going to call that a Connor Kenway victory here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm going to hit escape on that one because the music's making me crazy. Uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, Mario. Okay, let's do Mario. Mario versus Raul Julia. As M. Bison from the film. From the game, the film, the game. Oh, see Dragon Ranger? Okay, we'll find Dragon Ranger after this one. And there's a Green Ranger. I don't know if I saw... We'll, we'll find Dragon Ranger. We'll find Dragon Ranger after this.
Mario versus Mario Bison. It's a Tuesday, you know? Not a lot of action on this fight. Not a lot of big bets coming in. Everyone, oh, wait, eh, big money on Mario just came in. Everyone blew their money on Shawn Michaels. Oh, oh, some big bison money just came in. This uh, got a lot more even in terms of the betting here. Oh, bison pulling ahead now. All right, Bison is the favorite according to the voting. So let's uh, see what we get. It's a really good uh, King of Fighters edit for Mario there. Eh, this one's kind of even. This one's not so bad. Oh, yeah, Bison, though. Holy shit. That one blew up fast. Round two, fight. Whew. <laughs> All right. Love it when we see a third round. Love it when both characters are broken. They just need to like that. They just need to get rolling. They just need that one hit to get their bullshit moving. And then they win. But you never know who's going to get that first hit. Oh, Mario. See, like Mario is just getting fucked up here. Nice. Nice and that's what I say. Okay, Dragon Ranger? Was that a bottom row kinda? There's Green Ranger. Dragon Ranger is the Green Ranger? Oh, okay. I just passed it. Okay, there. Green Ranger. Versus. Oh, let's see. What do we got here? What's a good weird one? Beatrix the Bride. All right. Betting is up. Some money coming in on Beatrix. Still pretty even here, around 60k for each, going into 70k for each. Green Ranger pulling ahead. How about 100? Oh, ah, ah, mm, some big Beatrix money came in. Those Kill Bill movies. Pretty good. I don't know. I I, uh, I saw the first one a whole lot, and I probably have only seen the second one like once or twice. Part two, if you will, or whatever they. I think I was just around a movie theater a lot more often when the first one came out, and so I would just see it in bits and pieces a whole bunch. And then the second one, by the time the second one came out, I was not. I was not around a movie theater as often.
Round. All right, looking fight. good. Oh God. This fight is too serious. No music. Excellent. Green Ranger seems like a very competently created character. Which is sometimes a character's downfall. <laughs> Thought maybe we would hear this. Round two, fight. Where does this model come from? No! You've had it, bird brain. Oh, oh, yeah, smart use of the breakers there, but Green Ranger's going to have to put in some work here real fast. Oh, oh, I believed, I believed that Green Ranger might pull that one out, but alas. All right, maybe we do one more of these. I, I, like I said, we'll play some DOS games maybe here uh, for a little bit. But uh, what's over here? Meet a bunch of Shang Tsungs. Belloc. All right, let's do Belloc. Uh, against, uh, how about Robocop? How about RoboCop, huh? <laughs> Don't know anything about Belloc. Is that a... I'm running it at a window as well, so I don't see it much bigger than you probably do. Uh, well, actually, I probably do see it bigger than you do if you're running it in the standard Twitch window, but that almost looks like a Vegeta head with a mask on it or something, but I don't... I don't that's, no, that's not what that is. Okay. That's not what that is. Belloc was a planned MK4 character? Okay. Sure. <laughs> At some point, all the, like rumored and planned and all the stuff the horn buckles and tremors well i guess tremors uh, tremors a assist character in, in mk1 now so all of that nonsense all of that nonsense looks like the people believe in belloc Right, Belloc appears to be a a Kintaro-esque figure, a Goro-like. Oh, Belloc, sorry. Round two, fight. It's a very uh, weird-looking RoboCop, also. Like, Robocop is not without moves, for sure, but... Might just be outclassed by the, whatever weird bullshit is happening here. Okay, yeah. Fatality. Sorry, Robocop. Murphy, it's you. You're all over the floor. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Okay. Let's say Don Ramon versus Razor Ramon. And maybe this will be our actual last one. Robocop got fucked up. Was, uh... I 
I bet in the right scenario, Robocop would be also kind of broken. Um, oh man, all the money is going in Don Ramon's direction here. I've played as Razor Ramon earlier in the stream, so if you were there to see that, uh, Razor Ramon does have projectile moves and a good dash punch uh, that works as an anti-air. And he's got a bunch of MK3 dial a combo stuff as well. But the money definitely headed in Don Ramon's direction. Let's see what we get. We'll see what happens. Well, this is great. Round Vengo a cobrar la renta. Vengo a cobrar la renta. Great. Are these characters from like Sabado Gigante or something? Vengo a cobrar la renta. Vengo a cobrar la renta. El Chavo del Ocho, okay. Round two, fight. Vengo a cobrar la renta. Now see, if this was proper NWO Scott Hall, this guy would not stand a chance. Don Ramon. Okay. There you have it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, there's, so there's Mortal Kombat New Era, and then there is Mortal Kombat Chaotic New Era. And as I understand it, Chaotic New Era was updated more recently, which is why I gravitated towards that one, and also because I love chaos. Um, so. Yeah, I don't know. Google it, man. It's out there. It's out there. And it's and it's out there. And it's out there. can do 2v2s and 2v1s and all kinds of fucking ridiculous shit too so I I feel like mocap did not really uh lend a lot to I like the people who are just walking around in the background of the office, just like nothing's Round happening. One fight. Anyway. <laughs> Cap just here to shoot his gun a little bit. Just punching the ground, just hanging out, just. What else does he have here? Down back high punch. That's the dragon punch. Round one 
fight. Round two, fight. But I, you know, for for being created in this weird fan edit engine and stuff, like this is a pretty good representation of the Deadpool. With you know, like you got the stuff moving up there, and like you know, it's animated. It's it's not just a it's not just a GIF, right? I mean, it's not. And also, it's not just a video playing in the background. You know, it's it's like the capabilities of this are really fascinating. <laughs> Perfect. Round two, fight. <laughs> Yeah, this is a uh, Death Stranding too. Uh, they're still finishing the ADR on it, but you know this is, this is pretty much the full game. I, you know, it's not obviously. I think this would be really fun. Obviously, it doesn't have uh, online multiplayer, but it does. You know, you could theoretically. Do some parsec or something like that, but it just seems like this would be really fun to just like sit down with another person and just be like, all right, let's let's play this fucking ridiculous bullshit and try to figure out what's actually happening here. Round two, fight. <laughs> Am I near the end of this? How many fights do I have to... It just it just goes to the right to the next fight, so I don't know if there's even a, a tower that I'm climbing here or if it's just going to feed me fights forever. Round two, fight. Mocap deciding not to help on that one. Round one fight. <laughs> Fucking dinosaurs! Like, where did all the like? What game was all this stuff taken? It's like it's. Fight. Is this a fucking Eternal Champions background or something? Maybe Cadillacs and dinosaurs. I just, it seems it looks too nice for that. I don't know. It's, yeah, I, mean, I guess Round anything's possible. Fight. Ultimate Quan Chi. <laughs> is there something? Is there anything else here? 
It's like a down, fall, down, back, low kick. Okay. So that's, that's just the... Or it's down, forward, low kick, and it's just that's just that little torpedo. You know. Like Ryu always does. Noob smoke. Which that was a uh, real there for a little bit too, right? I like smoke as his own character. I don't. I don't know that I like need him merged into the weird noob cybot stuff. Yeah, we need to get Mr. Do in here. I mean, we need more clowns for our uh, Fight. Ronald McDonald uh, doink battles. Oh, I, I got fucking killed, man. Mocap, saving it. Very fair. Prepare to die. Come for Kinto. Oh, man. Good God, man. He fucking blew me in half. Round three, fight. <laughs> Come on, mocap. Dig it out, man. Anyway, before I go here, uh, uh, like I was saying, um, about some DOS stuff, uh, it is DOS box pure, which is a retro arch core, uh, is, is pretty cool for this specific uh, purpose. The the whole idea of oh, I don't have a I do not have a playlist built, so I'll have to. It'll be okay. Um, so I can just take a zip file from the Exo DOS um, collection of games, right? Uh, and the DOS box pure core just kind of knows how to handle that. ExoDOS is, are, are, is like a series of well-packaged kind of emulator friendly or, you know, kind of DOS box friendly uh, versions of old DOS games. And so I can take, for example, uh, the CD-ROM version of Jazz Jackrabbit. And I can load that up and it will, um, I should just be able to go to probably, it, it's usually better about kind of picking like, here's the executable you want. Not 
a lot of jazz in Jazz Jackrabbit. Which is maybe a little weird. Uh, and it's, you know, in, in this case, it's, it's like, relatively well mapped to the controller already, and... Because, I don't know if you remember DOS games. Getting controllers to work in DOS games fucking sucks. I don't know if... I, I, uh... This music... Like, I don't know that I necessarily remembered just how much of an Amiga game the first Jazz Jackrabbit is. Like, from this music and how it all sounds to just the very nature of the game, like, this just feels like... This feels like Cliffy B played a lot of Turrican and went, yeah. And then a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog and went like, there's something... Could we combine these two into a thing? So in this case, the triangle button on the controller is mapped to the escape button, so you can bring up a menu. That's not ideal uh, mapping, but it, it's mapped, so you don't have to, like, fuck around and go, like, well, where, I mean, where's what? You know, you, you can kind of hit the buttons on your controller, and generally speaking, they're mapped to something, uh, which is, makes the, the act of playing a lot of these weird fucking DOS games uh, much more friendly. Um, obviously a lot of games are, you know, expecting you to use a keyboard and you can still do that. This, these levels kind of, a lot of, uh, areas like this where you're just kind of stuck and you got to go a different way, which is not, uh, that's not fun. Oh, here we go. This is taking us back even further. That's not, this isn't. Now I'm inside the wall. What? Could I play this on the Steam Deck? Yes, absolutely. So, because RetroArch, you can put that on a Steam Deck. Um, either, I guess, you could install it directly from Steam. It is on Steam, but uh, I would probably recommend installing it via the MU Deck kind of install scripts and stuff. Because uh, it's easier access to more of the cores that RetroArch is capable of, of using. Um, ah, we got turned to dust. Um, and yes, yeah, you could, you could do all of this stuff just directly on a, um, on a Steam Deck as well. And, uh, you can build a play. In fact, I'm just going to very quickly build a playlist here. Uh, we got a little bit of time left here before I got to go. We'll manually scan them because I don't think they'll scan, but that's uh, DOS. Scan that directory system name. I don't think there is a... Oh, there is. DOS. Uh, default core. DOS box pure. Scan inside archives. No. So that should just, it'll probably be, yeah. Okay, okay. Actually, it did bring, okay. Yeah, so there, there we go. Um, and so these are the DOS games I have uh, uh, gotten my hands on over time here. The, the, to try to test this shit out. And, and most of them just kind of run. Um. But some of them, you know, like, like, uh, Crusader here, for example.
Let's go with some gusts. Let's go with some Gravis ultrasound, if that'll work. This is an amazing video game. Um, and it's, it's not super easy to play these days because it's something that wants you to use a keyboard to play it and you might not remember how to do that. So d this DOSBox core will try to map this game's controls to a controller. This game did come out on PlayStation, so there is... There is a precedent for for this game having some kind of controller support, but it's not really. Uh, you know, we're we're using the. I gotta turn the DPI on my mouse down here. The oh, are we not getting sound? That's a bummer. You run into things like this where you may still have to. Uh, configure a sound card or, you know, the, the little things like it may, it might be because I picked Gravis ultrasound instead of, in fact, we can pretty easily, um, just reboot it here and restart with sound blaster support instead. There we go. I loved this game and the and the sequel. He invented that phrase. Yeah, there was talk of a third game in this franchise, of course. But yeah, this... Uh... It never can never came to be. This came with some cool posters and some stuff, too. There was, you know, like, prop like in-world propaganda and stuff that was uh, kind of neat. All right, so the arrow keys move us. Oh, geez. Okay, let's, let's, you know, at least the thing I can say about the keyboard, uh, the, the joystick controls is that they have at least tried to map them. That guy set off an alarm, which is not good. We'll pull our gun. Oh, do any of these buttons shoot? Okay. <laughs> I don't think we can actually turn off the alarm from this pad. Um... But it's, you know, that's kind of the, the the bit of a bummer about this stuff is, you know, like if you don't know how they controlled originally, it can be really tough to um, okay, space bar pulls the gun. Good to know. And it'll kind of automatically lock on a little bit here to enemy targets. Or to let you know at least when you've uh, when you've done so. Okay, the tab button jumps. Alt will let us pull out the gun and strafe if we hold down Alt. Uh, control, holding down Control and pushing up and down and stuff will let us jump and uh, do our little side rolls here. That guy didn't do anything wrong. And so, that yeah, this came out on PlayStation, and so they had to kind of adapt a lot of this stuff to, uh, you know, working with a... Um... Oh, hello. Working with a, a PlayStation controller, a non-analog PlayStation controller at that, because I think it was that early of a game. Uh, what was the button that highlighted objects in the world for me to try to interact with them. I'm moving back to the controller because even though I don't know how the controllers are mapped on the controller, I do know that they are mapped to something. And so if I mash the button, like mashing a keyboard, there's a lot more keys here that don't do a damn thing. Whereas if I 
it seems like if I hit R2, it will highlight this object. And then I hit the space bar and open it up and pick up some what appear to be some detonators. Oh god, right on the D-pad. Apparently drops a detonator. Um. And then the emulator has a built-in kind of keyboard here. So if you if you're playing on a device that doesn't have a keyboard, like a Steam Deck, and you just need to type something real quick, it kind of lets you do that. It's a little funky, but. Oh, I blew up. I, I made my detonator blow up, apparently. So, yeah, I, you know, these games were were relatively complicated to play, I guess I would say. Um, oh, but this game was so fucking cool, man. Um, but, yeah, if, if you're looking to play DOS games, I, I think DOS Box Pure is probably the, 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 the Retro Arch Core DOS Box Pure. And there are like 90 version different, 90 different versions of DOSBox. Pure is the one you're looking for in terms of uh, how it, you know, uh, it, it has a kind of ease of use thing inside of RetroArch that, that, that regular DOSBox does not. Um, and that's kind of cool. Because um, a lot of these games just kind of vanished, you know, like a, a bunch of them do exist in other forms and got re-released. But, you know, not a lot of other places you can go to play a Ken's Labyrinth. It's run.bat. That's what all these, ex the, all these ExoDOS packaged zip files um, have a run.bat that are kind of pre-configured. play through all CDI games. It's uh, I was just talking about uh, playing a bunch of CDI games the other day, but uh, I need to hook up my CDI and make sure because CDI emulation is not amazing. Welcome to Ken's Labyrinth. Welcome to Ken's Labyrinth. Here's Ken. Oops. I'm somehow stuck crouching. I can either crouch or be all the way tall by hitting A or Z. And there's no in between. I forget when it was. It was not that long ago, but I, I streamed, like, I think the first hour or so of me playing fucking Ken's Labyrinth. And I was stuck crouched for most of the time. Anyway. Like all the other RetroArch cores, it's got a bunch of options and stuff in here too. So if you want to, um, you know, mess around with sound settings and some of that other stuff, you can do that. Oh, enable, enable Gravis ultrasound. So, so I wonder if we turned on the Gus and then launched, uh, Crusader with the Gus enabled, if we would get Gus audio. Um, anyway, uh, that, that, that if you, if you ever want to play a bunch of DOS games, the EXO DOS collection is out there. Just fucking look for it. It's EXO DOS. And, uh, and then you can, you too can download those games and bring them into RetroArch relatively easily and play them on a Steam Deck and all that other stuff too. Um, like Quarantine, the game where you drive a cab. Or One Must Fall. But there's a source port of One Must Fall that uh, that I might recommend over this. But uh, let's see if this runs any better. Because uh, obviously it's, it's been a while since I've checked. But um, before, just before we go here. 
Is there no a run dot bat for this one? That's weird. Normally there is. Oh yeah, there is. It's right here. Single player. Uh, getting this game to run at the right speed is actually really difficult, uh, or was really difficult inside of DOSBox last time I tried it. Uh, so let's see if it's gotten any better, or if it's going to run way too fast. Finally. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is your problem with some of this DOSBox stuff: is it it doesn't always uh, it doesn't always detect the right processor speed, and and then kind of goes bananas. Uh, but there is a port. There is a if you Google it, you'll you'll find yourself a. Uh, you know, bing it up, and you'll find a, the, the, a native port of One Must Fall that runs quite well. Um, or you can go in there and monkey around with all the, the DOS box settings to turn the cycle rate down and the, and the, as the speed of the emulated PC and, and all of that other stuff. And, and eventually you can, you can dial it in. Um, but that takes some work. So, I don't know. One Must Fall is a great game. Um, anyway, I'm going to get going. I should be back on Friday to rank some 8-bit Nintendo games. I have been thinking of a game called Metal Gear. And maybe that will be on, on this week's list. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have to build the list of games. I will go look at Patreon. Patreon.com slash Jeff Gerstman. Uh, I know some of you have suggested plenty of games. Uh, we'll go look and find some more from, from that list. And, um... Yeah, I've been thinking about Metal Gear, and I've been thinking about uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, which is uh, those are some big ones. I don't know. Maybe we'll pick one of those and put it on there along with the list. You can join the advisory panel if you want to suggest a game over at uh, Patreon.com/slash Jeff Gersman. Head on over to Guard.Bike. You want to check out the old uh, YouTube channel? We just passed thirty-nine thousand subscribers over on the YouTube channel. <laughs> That's like, I, I realized that's like zero. That might as well be like zero in terms of like YouTube numbers. But I saw it and I was like, yeah, cool. Right on. All the numbers moving in the right direction. So thanks everybody for hanging out. Thanks everybody for supporting the Patreon, all the other stuff. Yeah, you back the Patreon, you get on the Discord, hang out over here. Uh, and, uh, oh, the uh, Doyoki Wired Game Controller. I will look into that. Arcade Sage suggesting a uh, another Nintendo, weird Nintendo Switch option. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Perhaps I'll give that a look. Take care of yourselves, and I'll uh, I'll see you in a couple of days. Have a good one.